Standing at the front of your mat, hands in your prayer, in front of your heart, and the shoulders relax, the feet relax, and your gaze relaxes. This flow, we're going to work our way towards half moon bow pose. If you don't know what that is, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. We're going to work our way towards it, and I'm going to signal you when we're about to enter it. Nothing too challenging. However, this flow is definitely for those who are a little more loose and flexible in the body. You may bring your prayer to third eye or not, but set an intention and set your breath. Next, inhale. Open your arms. Filled gold arms, which is elbows bent, palms facing up. You're kind of looking up. Exhale, keep the shape in the arms and just bring the hands down. Still feel gold until you can interlace the fingers behind you. Pull down, look up, and exhale, bend the knees. Keep those interlaced fingers, arms long, fold. Forehead comes towards the knees. You can bend your elbow so that the hands rest on the lower back or hover just above the lower back. Some of us will be able to straighten the legs even more. Next, inhale, halfway lift, palms on legs or the mat and fold inhale bend the knees roll yourself into a stand hands reach up to the sky and feel gold arms again bending the elbows exhale hands down still feel gold hands interlace the fingers behind you pull down look up and exhale bend the knees fold keep those hands interlaced or not right into halfway lift hands on the ground or on the legs Exhale, bend your knees, roll right up into a stand, Tadasana. Hands up to the sky. Exhale, feel goal post your arms. Hands down. Still feel goal post until you interlace your fingers. Reach the arms down, pull your gaze up. Maybe the head tilts back a little more. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Arms long, maybe they droop a little more to the ground. Halfway lift, hips hike back. Back is long, neck is not squeezed by the shoulders. Roll yourself into a Tadasana again. Let each vertebrae of the spine be massaged. From there, feel gold your arms, hands down until you interlace your fingers. Inhale, look up, pull down. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Feel your body and be smooth like water here. From your halfway lift, bend your knees, hands down to the ground. Step the right foot far back into lunge. Right hand down to the inside, left arm up. Revolve your lunge. Now, if you need to, you can place the left hand on top of the left thigh somewhere. And from here, back knee down, reach for that back foot. Keep that right arm where it is. You can employ a block if you want. Set the right hand on top of a block if this gives you better leverage for your hips and to protect that back knee. Pull that heel close to the glute, as close as it can come, without compromising your quad muscles. You don't want to overstretch. Stretch to a point where your body says, this is enough. I feel it. Set the back foot down, come back into lunge, and revolve your prayer. So bring your hands into prayer in front of your heart and twist to the left. Bring in the right elbow on top or to the outside of that left thigh, not the knee and release eventually you bring your hands to the inside keep your legs as they are and we're going to come into extended lizard pose hands down on top of locks or like i'm doing elbows bent down to the ground forehead coming a little closer and continue breathing in and out your nose set your hips down this time so set that left foot down to the ground thigh comes to the ground coming straight into extended pigeon pose keep that right leg long behind you inhale bend back exhale fold forward inhale pick yourself up fingertips are pressed into the floor or your mat next to you exhale lower next time you inhale interlace your fingers behind you pull back look up and release your interlace fingers press your fingers into the floor next to your hips Come back into lunge, pick yourself up into lunge position. Set that back foot down, the back heel comes down. We're coming straight into triangle, actually revolve triangle. So the left leg is long, toes pointing forward, right hand down to the ground or a block. Left arm up or on the hip. Set that hand on the hip if you can't really revolve all the way to where you want to right now. 
for some of us, we may have bind. Just bring that left arm behind you directly down the back, fingers pointing to the ground. Look down, sideways or up, and that left hip is pushing back. Release your revolve triangle, pick up that back heel, straighten your front leg, all toes pointing forward. Make sure your arms are straight towards that left foot. Bend that back knee until it hovers and then hop your way into a halfway lift and fold. Now my fold, I've interlaced my first two fingers around my big toes, thumbs pointing into the ground. Inhale, rise up to Tadasana. Feel go arms up, down. Interlace your fingers behind you, pull down, and exhale, fold. Bend your knees as you fold. Halfway lift again, back is long, neck is not squeezed. Exhale, hands down, left foot back into lunge, left hand down, right arm shoots up. Shoulder stack, which means right shoulder rolls back until you feel it going straight up to the sky. Twist from the core, not the shoulders. Back knee down, reach for that back foot foot bending the knee but not bending the heel towards the glute too much unless you feel you need a good quad stretch and your body can go that deep back foot releases and you flow right into a revolved prayer twist keeping the legs as they are just bring your hands in prayer left elbow to the outside of that right thigh or on top we're working the shoulders because half crescent moon bow pose does require some shoulder work which means let's come straight into extended lizard pose just bringing both arms to the inside of that leg hands down or elbows down reach the hips down let gravity push the hips down while that right thigh stays uplifted frame that front leg pick yourself up so you can set that front leg down into extended pigeon pose left leg is still long behind you inhale bend back reach that gaze up exhale fold forward roll your spine up inhale exhale roll your spine down this time interlace your fingers behind you and again pull back as you reach the heart up open the chest here exhale fold down again set the fingertips or hands into the floor so you can pick yourself back up into lunge position coming right into triangle right leg is long toes pointing forward left toes pointing out at an angle left heel is down revolve right arm up left arm down again place your hand where you feel comfortable placing it like you did with the right arm make sure both heels are in line with each other maybe walk the left heel over to the left a little bit this may open up your hips a little more so you can situate your hips and keep them in alignment from revolve both hands down framing that front leg bend the back knee until it hovers now your fingers can frame that front foot or you can bring your hands behind you next to the knees arms are long front leg is long and from an exhale hop up into halfway lift and fold hands can do what they do they can circle around the big toe or not from here inhale right into chair pose bend the knees exhale stand Inhale, pull your hands down behind you, interlacing the fingers. And exhale again, fold. Bend the knees as you fold here. Halfway lift, back is long. Exhale, hands down, step that right foot back. Revolve your lunge. Revolve your arms so much so that you reach for that back foot and this time right elbow, if you'd like. It comes to the ground and the forehead also descends. That left thigh does not push out to the left too much try to keep that left knee looking forward maybe towards the left side or the left corner from here pick yourself right up into a revolved prayer twist pick that back knee up if you'd like look down before you pick the back knee up and once it's up begin to look sideways maybe look somewhere behind you maybe the gaze grazes your back elbow from here, keep your prayer hands and go straight into extended lizard pose. Back knee on or off the mat, elbows down, maybe not. Breathe, 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 in and out your nose. Set the fingertips into the floor, framing your front leg, coming into extended pigeon, setting that front leg down. Inhale, bend back. Exhale, roll down. 
Inhale, bend back. Exhale, roll down. Interlace your fingers behind you. Hips descend even more as you roll up again. Heart opens, hands move back towards that back leg. And if you like, right arm sets itself somewhere in front of you or on top of the left thigh. Left hand comes behind you, grabbing onto the right calf. Twist to the left. Keep the hips leveled, but do not compromise your lower back. If this feels uncomfortable, just untwist and energetically reach for that back leg. From here, counter twist. Just bring your hands in prayer or not. Twist to the right. Press that left elbow into the mat or press it into the bottom of the left foot. Make sure that left foot is facing the right wall and make sure your back toes are either flattened or stamped. Either way, unfurl yourself. Place your hands into the ground so that you can pick that front leg up into a lunge. From here, revolve triangle. Both legs are straight, left toes pointing out to the right somewhere, both heels may be in alignment. Revolve so that the left arm can half bind or not. Look somewhere to the left, right arm is still down. Now release your triangle on the next inhale, but keep the legs as they are. All you're doing is simply coming right back into triangle, switching arms. You're just coming into a normal triangle. Left arm to the ground this time, inside or outside that front leg. And do you see how I'm hiking my right hip up and down, up and down? I'm showing you how to shift your hips so that your hips are in alignment. So keep the legs as they are. Your right hand can bind, half bind on top of the left thigh behind you and that right arm, if you wanna challenge the core, bring some heat into your core and shoot that right arm straight out in front of you towards the front of the mat. From here, right hand stays where it is. Left hand comes back to the ground. Bend in that front knee and step, step with the block or not up into a half bound or not bound crescent pose. Standing on that left leg, which is straight with the slight bobbly bend in that left knee. Maybe you can bend the top foot so that you can grab onto the right foot with the right hand and the left fingertips are down make sure the fingers are underneath the left shoulder and you're looking down some of us can look sideways because our balance is amazing do that if you must or if you like everyone feet down looking forward and halfway lift and fold find your fold you can do any forward fold that you'd like just bring more weight into the toes when you do from here bend the knees chair pose hips set down heart shoots out Stand up, Tadasana. Next exhale, field goal your arms. Hands down until they interlace behind you. Pull down, look up, legs straight, bobbly bend in the knees. Exhale, bend your knees deep, fold. Keep the arms long overhead. Halfway lift, arms long, legs long, push the hips back. Exhale, hands are down. This time, palms down, set the left foot back into a lunge and revolve your arms, revolve that right arm, go, 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 until you can grab that back foot and set the knee down before grabbing that back foot. Left elbow comes down or not, stay as you were when we started this practice. If your elbow is down, see if you can descend your hips a little more, but try not to slump in your left shoulder. Please stay upright in that left shoulder. It doesn't matter that your forehead is descending. Pick yourself up right into a revolve prayer twist. Revolve that lunge, twist your prayer. Maybe the back knee lifts up. Make sure that back heel is facing the back wall and you're twisting from your core. Continue breathing in and out your nose and find your power as we continue this practice. From here, move directly into your extended lizard. Keep the legs as they are. Just bring your arms to the inside of that front leg. Set the elbows down or the hands down. And you know what to do here. Pick yourself up so you can set that front leg down into extended pigeon pose. Inhale, reach your heart up as you bend back. Exhale, fold forward. Set the fingertips into the floor. Inhale, reach up. Back leg is long. Exhale, fold forward. Interlace your fingers behind you and reach them back as you pull the heart up. Again, you may twist here. Left arm comes somewhere to the outside of the front leg. Maybe it rests on top of the right knee. 
but that right hand comes behind you towards that left calf. Maybe it grabs onto it and you can give a deeper twist here. Again, twist from your core, not your shoulders. So do not hunch your shoulders into your neck. Relax them. Release and counter twist to the left. Hands in prayer, as you can clearly see I'm doing here. Put that right elbow into the mat or to the bottom of the right foot. If you put it at the bottom of the right foot, you're gonna get a deeper twist. So be careful with the lower back here. Set the fingertips into the floor, frame the front foot, pick yourself right up into triangle pose. Revolve your triangle first. Make sure that back foot, the toes are pointing out at an angle. Top arm up on the hip or half bind. Bottom arm down right underneath that shoulder. Look down or sideways. Twist from your core and breathe. Preparing yourself for your half moon. Let's counter our triangle switching arms which means switching the placement of the hips don't move your legs you're just simply bringing that left hip forward and you're going to energetically and muscularly move it forward so your right hip can move back and as you can see i'm doing that a little bit here for you right now your arms do what they do here top arm can have bind bottom arm can shoot straight out in front of you so that is parallel to the mat Make sure your neck is not being squeezed by the bottom shoulder, that right shoulder. Now, if you're half binding, maybe you'll find your block and your right hand will rest on top of the block. Maybe not, but we will all bend in that front knee, get that back leg long, bend in the front knee, find some space so that you can step, step, step up into a half moon. Back leg is long, which is really the top leg now, reaching up high. The heel is facing the back wall. You're still half binding. Some of us, maybe not. However, all of us will bend that top knee so that we can grab the foot with the left hand and pull it towards the glute as you begin to descend your forehead towards the mat, which will stretch your hips even more and you're really going to feel some empowerment in that standing thigh. Release slowly, both hands to the ground, both feet to the ground, halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, you can interlace your first two fingers around the big toe, thumbs into the mat, and fold if you like, elbows pressing out as you do this. Release that into chair pose. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, slowly rise to a stand, but keep the hands shooting up to the sky or keep the hands on the hips and set that right foot, the heel on top of the left thigh and begin to shoot the arms forward, which will bring your heart parallel to the ground. So you're looking somewhere towards the mat. Keep that right foot somewhere on top of the thigh. Eventually your hands will come to the ground and you'll release that right leg directly behind you into a warrior three prep. Now, bend that bottom knee as deep as you need to. Put the hands on blocks if you need to as well. Bend the bottom knee so much so that you can bend that top knee and grab it with the left hand. Keep the right hand on the ground underneath the shoulder. Left leg is a long baby, and you're feeling some muscles in the left glute as well. Pull that right foot towards the front wall, which means you're going to descend that forehead a little more so you can stretch and stretch open the right quadriceps and you're really working the left hamstrings. From here, set that right knee all the way down and then set your hips down so that you can come into Ardhamatsi Andrasana. So the left foot is now to the outside of the right thigh and the right heel is kind of grazing that left glute. Twist to the left by hugging that left thigh with the right arm. Your left arm can be somewhere behind you, fingertips pressing into the mat, or you can half bind. Just set that left hand somewhere to the right side of your body for the half bind. Release the twist and counter twist to the right. Press your fingers into the floor and just lower your forehead down. Just a simple counter twist. Then bring your hands to the front of the mat, place them firmly, maybe fingertips. Step on that left leg, bring the right leg up high in your warrior three prep 
and then set it right down next to the left foot for your halfway lift. Remember, your spine is long, your legs are long, and then fold. Now, some of us can go deeper here. Our noses, some of us, will be able to touch the knees, maybe the shins, or just come as close as it can. Now, from here, chair pose. Drop those hips, inhale, chair. Exhale to a stand. Keep the arms up, left ankle on top of the right thigh, lower right back into your chair pose and balance. You must use your core here to stabilize your body. Your arms begin to lower parallel to the mat, which means your gaze is now towards the mat somewhere, maybe towards the front. And then some of us will be able to put our hands on the floor. If not, use your blocks and then set that left leg, send it all the way back into a warrior three prep. It's long behind you, toes pointing down. Begin to bend that top knee, bend the bottom knee, grab the back foot or the top foot with the right arm this time. Left arm is underneath the shoulder, or I should say the left hand is underneath the shoulder, and you're strong, you're balanced, and you begin to bring that left foot all the way towards the front wall. So stretch the quads. You got this, you got this. Breathe into your balance. If there's ever a time to speak positivity, now is the time. Strengthen your mind to strengthen your body. From here, release that top foot and come straight into Automati Andrasana, which means your hips are now on the ground. You're sitting, you're facing the front wall, and the right foot is to the outside of the left thigh. You know what to do. You already know what to do. You got it. Grab that right knee with the left arm hugging it, maybe half bind with the right arm, looking towards the right here. Make sure that left foot is grazing, maybe not the right glute. Maintain your gaze. Try not to look left, right, up, down, sideways, diagonally. Maintain your gaze on something that keeps your focus, you know? And it keeps your mind away from chit chatter. Unfurl, keep the legs as they are. Just counter twist to the left, bringing the forehead down somewhere towards the ground. From here, Pick yourself right on up, back into warrior three prep. Do what you need to do. Utilize your support if you need to. And left leg sets right down. The left foot is next to the right foot this time. Then from there, open the feet wide. Set blocks underneath your hips if you need to. We're coming straight into Malasana, a deep, deep squat here. Knees are pointing out. The toes are definitely pointing out. You do not want your toes pointing forward. That is going to strain your knees. Place the triceps against the inside of the knees and you may rock side to side to side. Hands down, make your way into tabletop. Let's do a few cat cows. Inhale, heart reaches open, looking up. Exhale, spine, middle of the spine reaches up, gazes towards the thighs. Inhale, reaching the heart forward. The belly button drops to the ground. Exhale, reaching the heart up, but the gaze is towards the thighs. You may do that as many times as you like, or you can come with me. Into standing on the knees, inhale, arms reaching up to the sky. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind you, pull down into a camel. Push those hips forward. Some of us will be able to bang back so deep that we will look towards the back wall. Please make sure your toes are stamped or not. And I say make sure the toes are stamped because many of us may find the balance to be held better with them stamped. Breathe in and out as you hold and then release. Release the hips down towards the heels, sitting on the heels, or again, sitting on blocks between the heels if you need to. And you're gonna twist to the right. Make sure the spine is upright. Top of the head shooting up to the sky. Belly button hugs in towards the spine with each exhale. You may have bind as you twist the torso to the right, which means the right hand will come to somewhere towards the left hip resting, and the left hand will come somewhere towards or to the outside of the right thigh. Gaze is settled. Again, your gaze determines your focus as, long, as well as your breath. And then twist to the left. Half bind with the left hand. Right hand to the outside of the left thigh or on top. Gaze is settled. Focus. This will bring peace of mind and this is how you decrease your stress. Come back into tabletop and do your cat cows or find another pose that works for you. Thank you. 
Take your final cat cow and then come with me standing on the knees. Inhale, arms circle up high. Fingers are spread. Exhale, interlace them behind you. Pull back, pull down. Your arms may graze your glutes or not. If they're not grazing the glutes, it's gonna be a little more tough on the core, so watch out for that. Hips definitely push forward. Maybe the hands can come to the ground between the knees. Wow. If not today, another day but it's not impossible. Keep working towards it. If you have to walk your hands up your body, the back body to release from camel, please do so. Some of us can just drop the hips down and unbend the back, sitting back on the heels or blocks. Now, this time, cross your arms, eagle arms, right on top of left. If your hands can't touch, that's fine. Just cross the arms and cross the forearms as much as you can. And then come to the ground to the outside of the left thigh or on top of the left thigh. You may bend your elbows or straighten your arms so that your forearms are laid flat on the mat or the ground. Just a semi-twist. Bring yourself up, release, inhale, open the arms wide, exhale, eagle arms again, this time right underneath the left or whatever is opposite for you and come to the right side, which means to the outside of the right thigh or somewhere on top of the right thigh, straighten the elbow or not. See how that feels for you. Release, sitting up, open the arms wide on the inhale. Let the heart open, let passions flow. And release that. We're gonna come to laying on our backs now. Let's end our practice. Whenever you're grounded, looking up towards the sky or the ceiling, hug the, hug the knees in towards the chest and do whatever you'd like to do here. You can circle your knees, you can rock side to side, you can rock back and forth, but whatever you do, be gentle. If you're coming with me, straighten the right leg out in front of you on the mat. Left knee comes to the outside, to the right side of the floor. Recline spinal twist. Grabbing that bottom foot, which is the right foot, if you like, with the left hand. Grabbing the left foot, if you'd like, with the right hand. Straightening that left leg out towards the right wall. Now, if you're grabbing both feet or one foot, I'm pretty sure by now you feel a stretch or stretches in multiple places in the body. Definitely in the shoulder, definitely in the spine, definitely in the hips. Now, the IT band of that left leg is getting a beautiful stretch. Let me also say that this is wonderful for those with sciatica. From there, release and go ahead to the other side. Recline spinal twist, which means left leg will straighten out this time. And then the right leg will shoot out to the left wall. Now, you do not have to grab the feet. In either case, whether you're grabbing the feet or not, please relax your shoulders as much as you can. This is where you breathe yourself into a vacation. Imagine yourself at your vacation spot, wherever that is, and you are as relaxed as you can be. You may look to the right if you'd like. If that puts some strain on your neck, look up. Stay here for as long as you like. Coming with me, let's release into happy baby. Release your feet. Bring your knees in towards your chest and then grab the feet or the ankles. Now you're laying flat on your back. The lower spine is resting on the mat. The glutes are not raised. Everything is flat except the knees and the feet and the legs as you bring the feet wide and you're rocking from side to side. And from here, thank yourself. Set the feet down, entering your Shavasana, or you can implement blocks here, put them underneath the knees, open the knees wide, bring the bottoms of the feet together in a reclined butterfly and rest. If you're in Shavasana, don't be shy, take up space. 
But otherwise, wherever you are, this is where I leave you. This is also where you thank your body and you can enter into a meditation. Some of you will go to sleep. That's okay. Maybe your body needs rest. Some of you will be able to maintain your focus and remain in meditation. But whatever you do, stay high in mind, body, and spirit. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe.